I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, no, I was, I was a boy. I was, 16, I was a boy. When I was 16, 100%, I had the whole kind of, I love you, you're amazing. I to, she wouldn't even let me hug her. Yeah? <laughs> but I was just going by the words rather than the actions. And then when that, when that shit clicked in, and it was, stupid. yeah. I've been stupid. stupid. It's okay oh, to yeah. admit that you've been stupid. It had, like, mm. But you should learn. Like, If one person has been able to call you stupid, the next one shouldn't. Yeah, like, yeah that's a good point. But it is what it is. Everybody like gets caught up sometimes. But I'm talking about the obvious, obvious girl, like where you've had the conversation. Like, okay, when I say the right to complain, if I'm happy about something, fine. But like, okay. if the complaint is you're not spending enough time with me, yeah. Like, because because I think if you are going to do the whole side chick or side man thing, mm -hmm. there should be that conversation. Look, I'm not looking for anything serious. Mm -hmm. This is why I'm. I like you, but it's not gonna. Uh, uh. Yeah. Like, if that is the agreement. Mm -hmm. then the whole kind of you're not spending enough time with me I just don't feel uh, uh, that then I don't know how, Every, like, there, it's the, all different do you know what I mean like yeah. some people have a once a month man some people have a fortnightly man some people have got a weekly man and none of them are their man like it really just depends on what you have going mm. with that person and what what you've agreed on um Obviously, sometimes you make an agreement, feelings can change, have a conversation. And I think that is another point as well when it comes to manipulation. People aren't quick to have that discussion to be like, oh, I've caught feelings now, or oh, I want this relationship to go somewhere different. But I think, again, as a man, you'd be lying if you'd say you didn't know when that happened in a situation. You know when somebody has been like, this feels deeper to them now, they're treating you different way. You can tell that they want something more. So we should if, say something. Yeah. yeah if you know, because if you, know, I believe she should say something also, but there's the fear of rejection. You in that place don't have a fear of rejection. You have a fear of losing the link, but it's a link, get a new one. I mean, nothing's ever that simple. What? Leah, nothing's ever that simple. Come on now. Hey. Nothing ain't that simple, Leah. That was too frivolous. You don't, you're not, you, you can't be frivolous with, with... You can't throw away food like that, Dwayne. You can't just throw away food like that. Fine. So I agree... Say I agree with you then. You have to admit that that point of view is manipulation. Yeah. Okay, no, no, okay, all right, all right, all right. So okay, no, 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 okay, okay. Ruthless. No, 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 based on that, what she just said, that scenario, if I can see a woman's ga gathering more feelings, you like, I can't, feelings. okay, no, no, but I don't feel like we're in an age where we should be assuming anything. Every time I try, nowadays, if I try to assume something about a woman, she's quick to tell me, don't assume this, ask, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, if I'm not, okay, so maybe I should ask. But either way, 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 either way if I don't, what, so the fear of rejection mm -hmm. shouldn't supersede your fear, shouldn't supersede your need to have to answers or to communicate. It shouldn't. It shouldn't supersede it. Shouldn't. it. But so it your pride, in a lot of cases, some, yeah. you know it no, does. No, but then, so that's not on us. People are shit at communication. But okay, so what I'm saying is not on. So manipulation uh, is that still manipulation? If I can see that you want something, like you're getting more into it, but you don't say so anything, and different. I don't say anything, yeah. but how is that manipulation? I'm not gonna. I wouldn't turn around and say that when it all blows up, which it probably will, I wouldn't turn around and say that you were 100% the villain of the situation. But you could have done something. But I would say that you prolonged this and probably made it worse when you saw there was a point where you should have got out. Unless you say something. This is what the, this is the, 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 the thing that most <clears throat> men them have. Unless you say something, mm -hmm. or you communicate what it is, mm -hmm. Then we're gonna assume that all is going. Like if you're just no, be, if you're being nicer to you're me, then you're just being nicer so to me. Science you're telling lies. Isn't the good if you're just being nicer to me, I don't believe you. Because eventually, event, no, no. If, if eventually you're going to say something, if I can see it, then if I if I can see it, I should say something. But if I don't, I don't think I, I don't think my name should be villainized. I don't think so. Like I get what you're saying, but I'm just saying like at the same time, as long as my treatment of you doesn't dissipate in that time, I start treating you uh, less than. Like, mm -hmm. oh, I, I don't, I don't get abusive. I don't start getting man, like actively manipulative. But, so then, okay, you don't start treating them differently, but their feelings have changed. So your same actions can then be interpreted differently. Do you see what I mean? So you haven't changed how what you're doing, mm -hmm. but now you're frequently hurting her feelings. 
Do you know? Do you see what I mean? Mm. How am I frequently hurting my feelings? Maybe I, because you don't want to see her during the day. You always yeah, see her or, at night. She just, or, she just, so wants, she, she, just wants, she, she just, just wants something. something no, but you see the disappointment, and you like, you just, but I just think your no. fear of rejection shouldn't supersede mm -hmm. your need to be happy. No, I agree with you. So then, how? So if you agree, mm -hmm. then surely this. But what we're saying is then mutually, men and women should do better. But you see what I'm saying and I see what you're saying. So the next time you find yourself with some in girl, situation, you know, think about the conversations when, she's, when someone's I pining talk, over you yeah, and yeah. you can see it, just I be like, early. babe, I see you pining and I'm not the one. And I want to set you free. How, how, but how? <laughs> <laughs> but how? No, 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 no. I am, I am. He's not, no, no. not selfless enough. I am, I am. Because the thing about it is. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't feel like it's smart to assume. Like, I feel like if you have that conversation too early, mm -hmm. then you could potentially scare that person away, whatever your intention is. Like, you can't assume just because someone is doing more or, f or showing you more nowadays that it necessarily means that that's where they're at. They just might just be really into the situation. They might not want anything serious. They might just be enjoying your company. So just, that's so, fine. But then it's a temperature check. Just be like, hey, I'm, my, I still, I'm still happy with how things are. Like, I'm not looking for anything more and I'm just checking in. Yeah, I, I, I told, I, I kind of make it early, like known early mm. though. Yeah, yeah from, from the beginning. Where they're like, yeah, that's my... What, women, like when women get in relationships... Mm. She knew all along that I would never wanted to be with her. Now she's keeping my Geneva, from me. Geneva, and, you know, Geneva, Geneva. <laughs> One of the things I find, just, if I'm wrong, tell me if I'm wrong. One of the things I, I understand that when women get in relation, one of the things that they're scared of the most is being lied to, cheated on, or a combination of the both. Yeah. If you like, if you are just honest, I think a lot of men cheat, or a lot of men get into situations um, without exercising certain demons or being honest. Like you might really genuinely meet a girl you like and you want to be with, and still want to do your thing with other girls. That doesn't mean you're an f boy. It doesn't mean you're a bad person. It just means that's who you are. If you know you feel that way, or if you know you have those feelings, or you're locking those feelings away, it is responsible of you as an adult to have that, to have that conversation with someone. And be as honest and raw as, as possible, because if it comes up six months down the line where she doesn't feel like she has a choice, or she feels like she's too emotionally invested, then you're going to be seen as, why didn't you say this from the beginning? Sometimes you have to give it raw. Don't take, no pun intended. Sometimes you have to. And that way, if, like, Leanne looked at me like, ugh, fine, that's ugh. That means for her, it doesn't work. Nah, the presentation was nuts. But for other people, they might think, okay, well, he's give, it's full yeah, transparency. Yeah, but it's not the scenario that is the It's the wording. It's, yeah, so it's like, why be intentionally off-putting in a situation that... So how could I word to... that better? What? I'm, I'm here, I'm trying, to, I'm, I'm trying to get to know you and see where this goes. But like, I don't know if, if the monogamy meeting is going to be what I give to you forever. But who's meeting someone and talking about forever? Like, calm down. Uh, would you, well then, well, at what, like, if you're trying to date someone and you see them actively all the time and yeah. you're interested in them, yeah. you're not, you're kind of so you're gonna assessing the possibility. So you're going to have natural conversations that are going to go to, like, eventually you're going to be like, are you looking for a relationship? And that's going to be either a yes or a no. Or it's going to be like, you know what, I do really like you. However, I don't know how I necessarily feel about monogamous relationship so you should wait to have that discussion not mad far but i don't think the day you're on a first date you're... i'm not saying you're on a first date when but are you saying it... then because just or just even the presentation of it it's unappealing it's as though you want them to leave i want them to have the choice and i want you them can to... give people I a choice in a way you that shouldn't even like if that's not monogamy you can see that you're you're not aligned you should do the walk-in, not nah, wait for them to like make that. the choice. Because they, they but obviously you, might but you can't assume, that, But you that can't assume, but what, but you can't assume, <laughs> yeah, that, like, everyone is going to deal with things in exactly the same way. Like, me saying that doesn't mean I'm going to do my thing with someone else. It doesn't mean that. It absolutely doesn't mean that. And that's what I always say, like, for full but, disclosure purposes, it doesn't mean that. It just means that, like, I don't know how I feel about being monogamous for the rest of my life. And maybe I can put it like that. Yeah, but yeah. like, I don't know how I feel about it. And that's just me being honest. And if that indecisiveness, that particular indecisiveness yeah, really makes you feel a certain way, then I want you to have the, the choice to walk away now rather than in a year's time where you have to, you might be making the decision that if we were, if you had told, been told about a year ago, that you would have walked the other way. 
It's not fair. And I'm about I'm about being fair. But I still feel like you're still not being so forthcoming because you're almost saying, allow me to make my decision, then you can make your decision based off what I'm saying. What do you mean that? Well, what are you I just about? I Sorry? I actually just think that you're putting a, a clause in yeah. because of your own issues with commitment. Mm -hmm. And the truth is that even in a very long-term relationship between the people who are monogamous, it doesn't negate attraction to other people. Mm -hmm. So no one is saying to you when you get into a relationship that you're never going to look at anybody again, you're never going to have feelings of attraction or lust or anything else for anybody else again. What's in question is what is your level of commitment mm -hmm. going to be? Mm -hmm. And even with you saying that to somebody early on, you still have to choose what your level of commitment is going to be. So you're saying to someone, I'm just telling you right now that I'm iffy and you can decide whether you can stay about for iffy. You're not even giving yourself the option to fully get to know that person mm -hmm. and see if there's somebody that you could commit to. So you're just putting obstacles in your own way at the beginning by presenting yourself what in what you mean? think is a carefree way, what but you're actually mean? just quite fearful. But what does commitment mean? When you say commit, what does that mean? If I say, if you say commitment, what what is to what to the be premise? in it? So. Again, it's between whatever the boundaries are of a relationship with you and another person that you set. Mm -hmm. This is our relationship. So we'll say monogamy, for instance. Mm -hmm. Commitment is that although you acknowledge that there will be other people in life that you find attractive, mm -hmm. you will not act on those feelings because you have the boundary within your relationship that you will only be intimate with your partner. So if we get in... so so. Perfect point. So if we do get in a situation or we start to like each other, like each other more, there will be those mm -hmm. the those boundaries set. Yeah. Or there will be that conversation to be had. So yeah. What I'm saying is that like you said, which was quite uh, crucial. You said, oh, you you don't even get your get time to know that person and see if that's someone you could commit to. Yeah. I would commit, but just in a way that is the where there's an understanding between both of us. So like I could commit to that situation like cuz uh, people are lying the word commitment to no, monogamy. No, because what not... we're talking about though it's like everything that you're saying just happens in life anyway, but you're trying to add an extra layer of protection really for yourself. Yeah. But you don't see it. You don't see the it. Bad man. How you how but how, 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 how is it I'm adding a level of you protection for myself? No, but because how? within right because as I said, you have to choose to be with somebody all the time and relationships, they change over time. If you're with somebody for a really long time, that relationship's not the same as it was at the beginning. There are things that would, at the beginning of a relationship, would be a complete deal breaker. Oh my God, are you flirting with somebody else? Are you doing blah, 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 blah? Mm. That when somebody's been together five years, 10 years, it's just, it'd just be funny because you, do you know what I mean? The mm. levels of commitment, trust, understanding, all of that grows over time. Mm -hmm. So when you first meet somebody, all you really need to say is like, right now, I'm with you, this is how I feel, let's see how it goes. If you have a feeling that things have changed, you can say to that person, hey, this is how I'm feeling, and you give them a choice at that time. What well, if it's always been there though, and I'll just let you know later on down the line, this is the point. If, if we get down the line, because that's how it always... But what, if, what has always been there, your need to be elsewhere, then don't get in a relationship. So, but like... Not everyone, my point is that not everyone... Like, I, I feel like I could give a, commit, a certain level of commitment to someone. Mm -hmm. Like, and still... Like, ugh, it's going to sound... I want to say do that. But like, I could still entertain the idea of that. Yeah. It wouldn't be as frequent... Obviously, mm -hmm. as as I would have done in the past, but like, that's not an option that I would rule out. Not in the immediate future. Okay. But the one thing I can promise, I hear what you're saying, but the one thing I can promise, which I know a lot of guys are afraid to do, honestly, is be honest mm -hmm. and say if I have, if those feelings occur where I feel like I want to do this, because mm -hmm. I think the, the biggest reason why a lot of relationships break, break up or marriages break up is because sex becomes dead. Okay, yeah. Or, or there's no, there's no, that there's in, there's a lack of interest in that and it kind of mm -hmm. filters down. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's quite a caveman way to look at it, but from a man, that's one of the main reasons I can think of. Like, you're just bored. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I think if, as long as you're honest about that and you give people the chance to decide how it is they want to proceed, then I don't necessarily see it as a bad thing. Maybe the wording, I agree. Maybe, I just, I, there's just, it just, there's a real, like, immature vibe about it. Really? Yeah. 
there's there's <laughs> there's real strong like yeah you, you set yourself up every time i don't know and i don't then but then if the i was if i did anything else i'm manipulating you if i if i just was like let's see how it goes but really i want to really i want to do my thing then i'm, I'm manipulating you because i should have said so then what no, so how what if the, if I like someone, if you are that they, you are not being forced to do anything. If you want to be in the streets, go be in the streets. If you want to date somebody, date somebody. If you're dating them, but your head is in the streets, leave them alone. You don't get to have everything. But you could. The thing about it is, you could date them and really like them, but it doesn't mean that because we remember we don't attach, like primarily men don't attach attach sex to um, emotions. Okay. It's like sport to us. Sorry, but it is. So you're you're thinking oh like but like me going out and doing my Jake thing. Jake also caught his dinner tonight. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was out there. No, but that's what it is. So the the the, the emphasis on it is not so much like oh I'm gonna go and emotionally invest myself in the situation. It's just like that might be something that maybe not in the immediate. Do you future, when but. you're seeing somebody or in a relationship with somebody, do you feel that you're missing out? No, it's not a, a, a missing out thing. I might just want variation, sorry. What are you going to say? Honestly, I don't feel like in that sense you should be actively pursuing a relationship with someone. Even if it's casual, like I feel like the way that you're explaining it, then in that sense, kind of going into what she was saying, like you shouldn't be pursuing like women in a, in a fact of, okay, we're going to go on these dates and see where it goes. No, because you know where it's going to go. It's like you should be meeting women at clubs. You right. should be doing a one and done. But there might be one I really, right. really like. I'm not, I'm not closed off to that. The one I might really, really like. But you're, not, really, really but like you're not ready for it. Yeah, but even if... So when, so when I'm ready for it, does mm -hmm. that mean I don't want to see any other woman ever? No, it doesn't. It means that you, it means that you understand that attractions to other people will always be there, but you value your relationship higher but than that. But it's different. So, why, so why, do, why is cheating such a... That's the real pandemic. Why is that such a thing amongst men? Because you want everything and you've been told you can have it. So, okay, so it's got nothing to do with chemical or... No. You don't think so? No. Why is that? You like, think girls thinking... couldn't go out and, Who? like, girls could go out. Yeah, but why don't you? Because you attach sex to what? Emotions. Like, okay, there's no. some... That, okay, no. Not in every some, case. But like... in, in... For you to give yourself to somebody, mm. there has to be that kind of... You have to... Think they're sexy? Yes. We don't. So, and there's, and no, don't be disgusted because ask any man, that, by and large, we don't. By and large, we don't. Just the way we look at sex as two different as entities. I'm, just, I'm feeling like so embarrassed for him. <laughs> why? Why? Like, why? Like, I think you can probably understand why Zayna raises her voice all the time at like the shit that comes out. I'm like, face. I don't want to <laughs> shout. I just want to be like, oh, babes. <laughs> No, but what, but, I'm, but what I'm saying is true. We don't, men and women okay. don't look at sex in the same way. So I have a question, though. So Go on. I feel like if you're saying that, like, just as a man, right, mm. you're just saying that, okay, it's, it, does, it has nothing to do with where you're at. It has nothing to do with kind of, like, immaturity or just you being not ready. You understand that fundamentally I am not going to really ever commit to the idea of monogamy completely. Then why don't you just pursue, like, a polyamorous relationship? I'll, t I'll tell you why. Because okay. I because I would feel a way about the woman doing okay, no, so but, no, 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 but, no, 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 no. I was just preempting what she was gonna say, but we've spoken about this before. Yeah. I can't think big and bad like I do, and then if I say that to a woman, then she says, "Well, actually, I can't." Then say, "Well, uh, I'm not, I'm not happy with that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. I, would I be happy about it? No. But at the end of the day, who am I to then put shackles on you? I'm yeah, not, I'm not unreasonable. I'm not unreasonable. You are, though. Because you're unreasonable. You're unreasonable. You're unreasonable. You're unreasonable. You would say, bruv, I would never love But that's them. Them. No, but I, no, I don't think like that, though. Disrespect. No, so I don't think like that. So you're seeing somebody, what? and you know that she's seeing other people, and you're seeing other people, and you're just like, yep, yeah, fantastic. No, 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 but I think that's where you have constructive dialogue. Like, so what you said about, it, like, um, a polyamorous relationship and stuff, okay, I don't know if I would do that and all of this stuff is all hypothetical like when i say i say to girls look i don't know blah 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 it's not because i'm deliberately trying to set myself up for failure it is all subconsciously it, no okay well maybe but like i'm just i'm just saying what i feel like is the i'm, I'm doing what i feel like is the right thing to do mm -hmm. what could happen is i could end up just wanting to be monogamous with that person yeah. i could that is a realistic thing i'm not saying i'm never going to do that 
but there is also a chance that I might not want to. Mm -hmm. And there has to be the space for that to be a discussion and not a surprise. Because I think there's nothing worse than being like, yeah, I, I like this girl, it's cool, we're doing our thing, cool, blum. And then a year down the line, babe, you know what? Because then it's like it's like an attack. It's like a sneak attack. It's not, though. Like, feelings change. Things happen. Like, go out with adults. Yeah, she'll be sad. She'll cry. She might say you're a dickhead, whatever. No one died. What's the problem? Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, I feel like the earlier you get to... The earlier you get to process that information, the better you are equipped to deal with it. If so it I must sit again. and, at the beginning, talk about hypothetical cheating... And it's not cheating. If I, it's say, not cheating. It doesn't like. It's not cheating. I don't get it. Would you be in an open relationship? No. Okay. So then this doesn't. Well, yeah. No. Why um, what, do you do you do you understand? I know you, you're probably going to say each to their own. But mm -hmm. why are you opposed to it? I'm not opposed to it. It's just not for me. Like. Okay. Well then, yeah. That's fair enough. Yeah, I just think. I don't necessarily like dating anyway. Okay. So to date multiple people at once just seems really quite stressful. <laughs> um, my my phone would be too active. Uh, oh. <laughs> like, I don't want it. So yeah, it wouldn't it wouldn't work for me. Um, but I haven't got a problem with seeing somebody like casually. If we just say, oh yeah, we're just we're seeing each other. If they're seeing other people, there's no expectation there mm. that they're seeing only me. Only if we have a conversation and say, oh yeah, we're just going to be like exclusive now. Mm. That's when, that's a boundary that we've set. But okay. until we set the boundary, yes. do what you want to do. Be, be respectful of me. If I think that you're too out here, I'll be like, you know what? I'm all right. Mm. Do what you want to do. Yeah. It's, it's communication at the end of the day. That's what I think it is at the end of the day. Like, I know there's going to be some aspects of communication that, and this is, this is the thing I understand. Sorry, I just think you want to. I just think you want to put girls off of you immediately. I don't want to put girls like, but no, but I've had these conversations with women, and I have lost women like this, and it's yeah, just of course. because I know at that point, like yeah, maybe down the line it could get to this point, but right now I, I do like you, but things are a little bit techy at the moment. Do you know what I mean? I'm not ready to kind of <laughs> give up everything, but. That's, but I feel like. You don't I like them then. You're no, but yeah, but why do you think that though? You're just attracted to them. No, but why do you think? So I can't like another woman. No, no, no. Hang on a minute. But Geneva, you I can't like Geneva. 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 I can't like a woman no. and want to have sex with another woman. Is that what you're telling me? No. So that that's that's because how you, you think. You can't that's like how you her. think. You can't Wait. like her on the deep. Then you ask a man. You can't no, like I her on the deep level. Think you're that. attracted to Go her, on. Jay. No, no, the deep, That's not Geneva. That's not true. So why I do men? I think that you can like a woman and still want to have sex with another woman. Of course you can. Don't roll your eyes because sure. it's the truth. Like. But but. But. Yeah. As you said, like maturity, boundaries, respect, understanding. Let you, lets you know that you're just not going to do that because the person that you're with has more than just you want to sleep with them because you'll see someone else you want to sleep with and tomorrow and mm. someone else after that like honestly you how many buff, around. how yeah. many buff girls do you see no, in a day true. like true. control yourself mm. that's true and you know I, I guess it's about being responsible and mature and being honest with yourself and so if you feel like you like her but like the 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 the, the thirst for it is too much then let that situation go. But and also, like, it's a communication. When are you gonna get bored, Jay? Like, of what? Like, honestly, as I said, there are buff women everywhere all of the time. Like, at what when point? When am I gonna get bored? Yes, <laughs> it's enough. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what Jay's like? No, 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 don't do that, don't do that, don't yeah, do that. Yeah, I don't worry, you don't know, we've that. had many Friday discussions about your Tinders, I'm sure we have. Yeah, do you, um, thank you, thank wow. you, thank you. <laughs> Man's out here, yeah. I'm not, I don't have Tinder that. anymore, first of all. I uh, don't, so, I don't. No, he's terror I let that terrorising pass. the girls on Hinge now. I, I'm <laughs> off Hinge as well, I'm off Hinge as well. I am, I am not on any of that stuff. That phase has passed. That now, that, now, that, now that outside is open. I'm just joking. Now he's trying um, to trying to meet women in the flesh. No, I'm I'm not doing any of that. I'm cool. It's it's all good. But it's interesting hearing your take. I I I appreciate that. Well, guys, um, thank you for watching. It's been a really good episode. Thank you for coming on. We hope to see you a lot more. You as well. Yeah. <laughs>
conversation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she got comfortable. First, she was sitting like this, and now she's sitting like this. <laughs> you know, someone's foot is dug in the so Yeah, so um, appreciate you guys uh, for coming. And um, yeah, we will see you next time. Please make sure you like, share, follow Leanne. Um, all our details are below. And we will see you on the next episode of The Shout.